February 14th. My heart is beating out of my chest. What a day. Love was in the air and Cupid struck. I've been so lonesome since my beloved Ethan passed, but I'm truly blessed to have met Paul. We've been co-workers for a few weeks, and although I'm typically attracted to the nice guys, I fell head over heels for this biker bad boy. I'm so happy I worked up the courage to make a move today. I can give love a chance again. February 17th Well, Paul began to show his true colors today. The first couple days of this relationship, he promised me the world, told me everything I wanted to hear, but it's like a switch flipped. He didn't even touch the dinner I made for us tonight, didn't even thank me for the effort. He called me some pretty awful names, too. Well, this is a risk you take with a bad boy, though. I'm a big girl. I won't let it ruin things between us. February 20th. I've called out of work the past couple days because of the black eye Paul gave me. I didn't want anybody to see through the makeup and start asking questions. I don't need the suspicions and gossip at work. These things happen in relationships. I forgive him. February 21st. Things are happening so fast. This is crazy. Paul and I are going to put this life behind us and go off the grid. I'm in the process of packing up the essentials we need, and then we're off to our forever home. It's a cute little remote cabin up in the mountains, away from everything and everybody. <sighs> Moving into a remote cabin with an ungrateful boyfriend who has been emotionally and physically abusive? Crazy, right? But the heart wants what the heart wants. People have been talking, and I don't want the outside world pulling us apart. I love him, and I need to try to make this work. I hear Paul screaming from the other room. I better hurry and pack. Off we go. February 23rd. I'm shaking as I write this. How could I be so stupid? I forgot to double check the locks on Paul's restraints. I had no choice. I had to take his life. I couldn't risk him getting out again and attacking me or somehow alerting police. <laughs> I'm so heartbroken. I may never find love again. March 1st. Heart be still. I ventured a bit further out than my usual stroll and met the nicest man along the way. He owns a cabin only a mile or so away. I never thought I could move on from Paul, but this man gives me hope. I'll take a walk to his cabin at dark. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs>